Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your beginning of the month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Leo Virgo, let's see what's going on with you in the beginning of May. the energy I'm looking for is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And it looks like you have a little bit of a stalemate. Nothing is really moving right now. You're kind of not even slowly moving, like literally just fence sitting, not moving. Um, it feels like you might be thinking about something before you make an offering, or maybe you're not taking someone's offering. You're just stopped. Stop, stop, right? Um, let's see what's going on with the Knight of Pentacles. Clarifying on the Knight of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus. This card's not only going to clarify on the Knight of Pentacles with the entire reading. Triumph. Oh, you've stopped moving because you're you're going after a victory. Okay, so you're like, nope, stop. <laughs> Everybody just stop. <laughs> you see what I'm going after? This is important to me. I'm not moving forward with this because I'm going after my own victory. I have my own thing I want. Um you know, and this is what I want, and I'm not moving anywhere, nowhere. So, getting straight into either that or they stopped moving, right? But I really feel it's you. I do. I think you really stopped moving towards whatever or not taking that offering, right? Two and one. It's like, even if you didn't take the offering, it means you didn't move towards them. So, getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Yeah, queen of forces coming out. Yeah, you're almost like a force to be dealt with right now. Um, there's something that you want, you, of course, is victory. Um, yeah, and you, I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards in this, this deck. Why? Because it's showing that you are enforcing the day and the night, right? You have complete control over your emotions You of the moon. You have complete control. Like, all the energy is yours. Nothing's going to. Your mental and your emotional are right where they need to be. And you're completely got them balanced. And that's maybe why you're like, wait, stop. Don't don't even go there. <laughs> right? You see how balanced I am right now? Let's not even go there. Um, so getting straight into the recent past over here. And that is a Capricorn card, so you might even be dealing with a Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn Virgo. Um, but having your Virgo in you, it, that's why I'm thinking it's just you. So, But you could be dealing with another um, Earth sign. And then you have the Four of Roses, the views of ego coming out from the recent past. And then you have the Sands of Time coming up in reverse. So it's telling me pretty much, hey, look, it's time to, it's time to go. Maybe you know that this is like right on the horizon, right, like right around the corner. And that's why you're like, nope. So with the views of ego over here, it's like somebody is being a little egomatic. Someone's putting themselves first before someone else. Uh, maybe they're viewing you as saying, you know what, Leo Virgo, I think you're being a little egomatic about the situation. Could be a huge possibility because it could be you or them. Um, but someone is putting their foot down and it's all about them at this time. Um, and it could be you because maybe you, you know what you want. So you're putting an extra ego and pride into it. Um, waving around that Leo tail, that lion tail, taking that extra pride and ego. Um, and they could definitely be seeing you that way. Maybe they're saying, you know, you're so egomatic right now. What are you doing? And you're like, I'm going after my victory. <laughs> And I just kind of feel like that, too. And I do kind of believe it's you because um, I really see this as you in, you know, needing this attention in your lion side and just kind of swaying your tail around going, do you see where I'm trying to go? Look, I don't see any of you trying to get to where I'm trying to go. So, yes, they could be seeing you as very egomatic at this time um, in the past. And maybe, you know, I don't think really, truly, I don't think it's affecting you. I think you're just like, Psh, whatever. 
right? Because you are, you're going after your nine of cups. You're just like, no, I'm going to get my satisfactory. I'm going to sit down on my couch. I'm going to drink this awesome bottle of wine that I just bought. And I'm going to tell myself how awesome I am. And the world's going to revolve around me for a little while as I'm getting the limelight, right? And maybe it's even at work. You know, maybe they're seeing you as top notch. Oh my gosh, Leo Virgo just did all that and they got a raise. And you're like, yeah, I did. And that's just because all you people are slacking. And that's really what I see over here. You know, and that's why you're not moving forward because they're slacking. You're putting on the hard work and they're slackers. So yeah, they could see you as a little arrogant. Yeah, you had some promotions. You had something, you had something or you're waiting for a promotion. Um, from the past, you either are up for a promotion at work or you just got one. Um, however it is, take it how it resonates. But you also have this proposal coming in and it could be from a Scorpio. Um, they see you as this, using that arrogant ego side, but they also see you as a hard worker. So it's more of a turn on. I know, right? Like, wait, what? Yeah, because most people you hear, they're arrogant and they're egomatic. It's a turn off. But no, actually, because it's in your energy and it's a natural energy that you have, whether you like it or not, you have that sassiness. You have that peace within you. And for other signs, it's the way you're built and it's a turn on. You're, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a Leo sassy, you know, I'm Leo rising. I got my sass, right? Nothing wrong with that. Let's go. But you're not moving towards it. That's it right there. Nope. Stop offering me these things. I'm doing something else. That's it. And it might even be an ex coming back, seeing you like um, on top of the world, right? Seeing you doing great things and maybe they want you back and they're like, take my cups of love, Leo Virgo. And, but you're like, stop it. I'm not taking your, off. that's where that, I'm not taking your offerings. I'm not moving towards anyone. Um, Cause you're going after your own victory, your own nine, <clears throat> nine of cups, probably an ace of cups now, right? Cause it feels like you already had nine of cups back here. That's why they recognized you. So yeah. And it's almost like you're forced to be reckoned with because you're balanced. Because you, it feels to me like Leo Virgo, if you took this offering, they could throw you off balance and it could literally be an X, right? Or maybe it's just not in the dating scene or whatever it is. But you're not moving towards it. Because you have everything that you want at this time or you're really working towards it, right? Oh yeah, look at that because you're swiftly moving up the ladder. Swiftly moving to where you need to be. Um, even if it's not even uh, a work thing. Let's say it's not work, it's not love, it's not this, it's not that. Maybe it's just emotions. Like, you know what? I'm just really happy to be happy <laughs> and I don't need your sadness, right? I don't need anybody's crap, right? Um, and the reason we say that is because there was isolation, getting out of isolation, getting out of um, whatever was holding you back before, whether it was sadness, um, but definitely some emotional withdrawal. Um, so it literally could just be them seeing you getting back to vitality over here. Yeah, taking on some emperor moves. It might even be the emperor's got some new clothes. Um, yeah, feeling frisky, feeling good about yourself, going out, taking care of yourself, buying new things in the present, making yourself feel like the emperor, the empress that you are. Um, just really working it. Wow. But swiftly moving to I, this person is the same person. It's the same energy. I just feel that it. it's like it's like put it here because it's the same person. So it really wants me to like throw this card next to this card because it is telling me they are moving swiftly towards you. You know it. Um, and it's like, <sighs> Emperor's got a new look, a new jive, a new this, a new that. Whatever you're doing, you are looking good. Um, and they are, they're racing after you. Yeah, they could be messaging you and really just like all up in your face, won't leave you alone feels a little obsessive, right? But you know, what's funny is like, I'm more obsessive about myself right now, my vitality and being who I am and getting my stuff done. And you're obsessive about trying to get me to take your cups. I don't want these cups. I'm doing me, right? And yeah, I feel like this is an obsession. 
They've seen you like the queen of Egypt over here. Yeah, forcing, and I'm sorry, I have to say it, forcing their passions on you. Take my cups. And you're just like, no, I'm passionately getting to my victory. It's, it seems like it might be a long time waiting for you to feel this vitality, to feel this alive. So you have the sands of time over here, and it's like no, no time to wait around. No time to wait around no more. Your hourglass is upside down. That, that moves so fast. Why? Because you have all this positive energy going. You're keeping yourself so positive and you know where you're going, what you're doing, and you're moving. And this hour, the hourglass is moving along with you. So it, it's the perfect timing. It is absolutely the perfect timing right now to get going to your victory. Could even be ready to buy a new house. Move, you know? Yeah, look at that self-sacrifice. It's time to really self-sacrifice and really get moving and using that Leo energy of you. And it, this is the this like over courage. You've got this going on. You know where you want to be. You have the strength, um, the creativity. You have everything going for you and you know it. Um, yeah, and this is going to bring in new beginnings with the Ace of Wands. And there it is because it's saying it's the perfect timing for you to buy that new car, to really get moving up. Buy a new car, move to wherever you want to move to doing whatever it is that you were so determined to start doing, okay? And not allowing anyone into your energy because you loved yourself so much, you know? You, yeah, because you have all this self-growth and knowing where you want and all this maturity of um, putting your priorities first and putting the things you love first. And if you're doing it for your kids or anything like that, I mean, you know, you're really for the family, right? Really doing it for the family, for yourself, however it is. And you're just not going to allow anything to hold you back. So awesome. You guys are on a roll. So you're really making this work and things are really falling into place for you. So you are really making things happen, my friends, uh, whatever it is. Really making it happen. You wanted it, yeah, in the near future, you will have this. Yep, and if this is, you will have romance later. Look, if you want to take their cups later in life, that's fine, right? You'll take their romance later. Because no matter what, Spirit says, don't worry about it right now. You'll have romance later. Keep working where you're going and remain positive. That's totally what it is. Don't worry about this romance. Hey, if you want this person later, fine. Otherwise, you know what? You probably have another person coming out at you. Maybe it'll be this Aquarius, right? Moving towards an Aquarius. Okay. But whatever it is now, you need to keep going strong where you need to be. Yes, stay assertive on your path because you're completely ready to get to where you need to be. Because where you're going, there's something so much better. And, you know, for a lot of you, you don't want this person. And I just, that's the way I feel. Uh, for some of you, you're just like, stay on the back burner. I'm doing something and I'll get to you later, right? And then for others of you, you're like, you have nothing to offer me. Um, and you literally might have an Aquarius coming toward you later in life. Okay. And that's where the romance is coming in. Okay. So, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.